ultimately we have to create a safe space uh, for people to learn, for kids to go to school. And so that's something that I favour as well. City Council to vote on whether to place a zone around schools restricting anti-abortion signs and other campaigns around the property. Okay. This video from March 2019 started the conversation. It shows a small group of protesters holding graphic abortion pictures outside of Queen Elizabeth High School. Wow. Feedback from Calgary schools describes signs like these having a serious and negative impact on vulnerable students, in addition to the well-being and safety of students and teachers. Students deserve the ability to be able to engage with the world and engage in very difficult discussions without feeling forced or uncomfortable. For over a year, there have been calls for more restrictions around campaigns on public property near schools in the city. The city bylaw would limit the signage to five inches by three and a half inches if you're within 150 meters of school property. That's smaller than the size of this cell phone. Anything larger than that, and you'll need to be on the outside of this circle. So between 7.30 a.m. and 9 p.m., you'll need to be... this far away. Anyone who breaks the rules will be fined between $500 and $1,000. No one is saying you can't say these things. No one is saying you can't hold these beliefs. No one is even saying that you can't try and convince others of these. But what we are saying is huge graphic posters confronting students as they go in and out of school and, and the excuse of, well, they can use another exit. Well, that's just not right. In Calgary, Jackie Perez, City News.